In this tutorial, we are going to cover some basic things about exponents, including how to write something in exponential form, how to write something already given in exponential form and writing it in expanded form, and also evaluating something given in exponential form. We are going to start with the example 4 times 4 times 4 and write that in exponential form. Writing something in exponential form is basically another way of multiplying a number by itself. We can see that 4 is being multiplied by itself three times. So another way to write this would be 4 to the third power. The number that you are multiplying by itself is called the base, and the number of times that you multiply the number by itself is called the exponent. Now let's write 4 to the third power in expanded form. The word expand means to stretch out, so we must stretch out 4 to the third power or write it the long way. Remember, the exponent just tells us how many times we write the base. So writing 4 times 4 times 4 is writing 4 to the third power in expanded form. Now let's evaluate 4 to the third power. When evaluating an exponential expression, it is helpful for many people to first write that expression in expanded form. Next, we are going to multiply the first two numbers in this expression, or 4 times 4, and that gives us a product of 16. Now we must multiply 16 by that last 4 at the end of our expression, and that would give us a product of 64. So 4 to the third power is equal to 64. Now let's try another example. Let's evaluate 5 to the fourth power. First, write 5 to the fourth power in expanded form, or 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Next, using parentheses, group two numbers at a time. So we are going to multiply 5 times 5, which is 25, and 5 times 5 over on this side, which is also 25. Now we must multiply 25 times 25, which is 625. So now you should know how to evaluate basic exponential expressions as well as write those expressions in expanded form.